good morning everyone uh, now here in this video today we will discuss the uh, unit test to question paper and the questions which i have given you in that question paper so first are multiple choice questions first is motion of a snake is a circular motion periodic motion curvilinear motion so the motion of a snake is a snake always moves in uh, curvilinear motion so the answer is curvilinear motion now the next one is which of these is a transparent object first is brick brick is not a transparent object it is a opaque object air yes air is a transparent object and chair chair is also a opaque object because both chair and brick doesn't not allow electricity to pass through them or light to pass through them so both these are opaque object and air is a transparent object now the next one is the speed of light is 3 lakh kilometer per second 3 second or 3 minutes so the correct answer is 3 lakh kilometer per second the correct speed of light is 3 lakh kilometer per second the other name for rectilinear motion is vibratory motion oscillatory motion and straight line motion so the other name of uh, rectilinear motion is straight line motion so this is the answer now the next is which of these is a luminous object stone stone is a non-luminous object rubber it is also a non-luminous object and firefly firefly is a natural luminous object so the answer is firefly now the next is light is dash agent so light is a natural agent it is a natural agent the color of the shadow is always so the color of the shadow is always black now the next question is 4 millimeter is dash centimeter so what will be the answer 4 millimeter is uh, 1 millimeter is equals to 0.1 centimeter so uh, 4 millimeter is equals to 4 into 0.1 if you multiply 4 into 0.1 the answer will be 0.4 centimeter so 4 millimeter is equals to 0 0.4 centimeter now the next one is moving train along the track is dash motion so the A moving train along the track is the example of straight line motion now 41 hours is equals to dash seconds so we will solve this question here 41 hours is equal to how much second so 1 hour is equal to 60 minute and 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds so 1 hour is equals to 60 
into sixty means six is thirty six thirty six hundred second and one r is equals to thirty six hundred seconds so forty one r is equals to forty one into seconds if we solve this so zero 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 and zero six hundred six and three the three zero zero six four zero twenty four four three zero twelve thirteen fourteen zero zero six seven four one so forty one r is equal to one four seven six zero zero second so the answer is one four seven six zero zero second now the next are two false the image formed by pinhole camera does not give any detail yes this is true because uh, if we take images or picture from pinhole camera so it doesn't give any detail of the image or object moon is a luminous object no this is false moon is not a luminous object the standard unit of length is kilometer this is also false because the standard unit of length is meter 48 minutes is equals to 4800 second so we will solve this question whether it is true or false 48 minutes is equals to 48 minutes is equals to how much second so 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds so 48 minutes is equals to 48 into 60 second and 48 into 60 zero four zero zero six eight to forty eight six four zero twenty four and four twenty eight zero eight eight two so forty eight minutes is equals to two eight zero seconds so Forty-eight minute is equal to forty-eight hundred second. This is false. Now the next is distance is the amount of space between two places. Yes, this is true. The amount of space between two places is known as distance. Now the next question is why can a pace or footsteps cannot be used as a standard unit of length? So we cannot use a pace or a footstep as standard unit of length as the size of the foot and footstep will not be the same for every individual. Thus the measurement will not be the same for different people. Uh, we cannot use the footsteps as a standard unit because uh, different people have different size of their footsteps and different uh, arms, different shoulders. So that is why the measurement always vary from person to person that is why we cannot use footsteps as the standard unit because uh, uh,
पर्सन टू पर्सन फुट स्टेप्स द साइज ऑफ द फुट स्टेप द साइज ऑफ द फिंगर द साइज ऑफ द आर्म लेंथ ऑलवेज वेरी सो द मेजरमेंट विल ऑल्सो वेरी दैट इज वाई वी कैन नॉट यूज द फेस और अ फुट स्टेप एज द स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ लेंथ नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द नीड टू मेजर डिस्टेंस सो द आंसर इज हेयर we need to measure distance because it is needed to calculate other things like speed time taken in journey etc we need to measure distance because uh, distance help us to calculate the other things also speed time etc it helps us to make decision based on the based on the outcome of distance in ancient times people use the length of a foot hand span arm length the width of a finger as unit of the measurement uh, in the ancient time people use the length of the foot hand span arm length uh, width of the finger for the measurement but this causes confusion because the hand span length of a foot arm length uh, varies from person to person and uh, which create confusion in in uh, individuals because as the size of the foot hand span varies so the measurement also varies from person to person that is why a need to measure distance develop now the next question is what are the requirements in order to make a shadow so there are three requirements in order to make a shadow first is opaque object opaque object are needed to make a shadow because opaque object doesn't allow the light to pass through them next is the source of light and source of light may be sun or any other object which provide light like torch bulb tube light etc and the third one is the screen or the surface on which the shadow is to be formed so these three are the requirements to make a in order to make a shadow next question is explain oscillatory and vibratory motion with examples so this is the answer some objects move as a whole to and fro back and forth along the same path without any change in shape so the oscillatory oscillatory motion is the motion in which the object moves as a whole not the partly so and it doesn't change the shape of the object and the motion of such object is called as oscillatory motion in which the to and fro and back and forth movement take place for example the boy on a swing and the needle of a swing machine now the next one is the vibratory motion it is a kind of oscillatory motion in which the moving object undergoes the change in shape or size in vibratory motion uh, it is also a kind of oscillatory motion but in vibratory motion the moving object undergoes a change in shape or size so this is the difference between the oscillatory motion and vibratory motion that vibratory motion is a kind of oscillatory motion but it undergoes a change in shape or size but in oscillatory oscillatory motion there is no change in shape or size of objects so these are some questions which i have given you in your unit test paper 2 uh, in unit test 2 paper and the rest of the question we will discuss in our next video So thank you and see you in the next video